Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Trifium, and welcome back to another highlights video for Austria. We are, of course, in Spielberg around the Red Bull ring, and to take you through these highlights, we have the Tier 2 racers. We hope you enjoy the few that we selected. Well, once again, it is going to be Liam in the Red Bull on pole position. A 103.096 was the time here for the Austrian Grand Prix, the Red Bull ring. Of course, Kai Bacini there in second, lining up next to him on the front row. It was... Less than six hundredths separating those two, with Domi less than a tenth behind in third position. With Darian Alfie on his debut in fourth, and Ali Avci in fifth for Renault. Their lights aren't the same as ours, but it's not going to matter. There they are. They're revving their engines here. They're still yet to be shown their red lights, but there we go. And it looks like Kai Bacini has got a much better start than Liam beside him. Down into the turn one, the Mercedes is going past the Red Bull. You can see Domi. He might get past as well. And behind them, there's a McLaren. I think that's Little Bear. He's spun around out of turn one. And there's end plates flying. There's an Alfa Romeo as well. I think that's Maxime B. Indeed, it is. He's had trouble out of the first turn. Up at the front there, we've got a VSC. So no overtaking alarm. That's causing a bit of confusion. Lead of this race. And there's another yellow flag through sector three. We'll have to see what that sparks. But it's Liam now coming out of turn one. He's on the inside of Domi. No DRS yet for these drivers. And it's a serious battle between these two. Kaibuccini in first is going to be happy about that. Domi with a switchback. A good exit from the Hungarian. But it's ooh, it's so tight between these two. They're wheel to wheel coming down into turn four. Domi just ahead of the Red Bull. Wheel to wheel yep, now. Oh, man. What an exchange between these two we're seeing unfold. They're still wheel to wheel. The Williams versus the Red Bull here. Domi around the outside now. He's gotten out in front of that Red Bull once again. The two Red Bulls, they're going to be side by side coming through turn two. Who's going to get the better entrance and exit out of turn three? Gadwin a little bit wider around the outside. And he's going to be ahead of Liam for the time being. Is Liam going to be vulnerable to the Renault of Aliazzi behind? He's lost the position to his teammate. And this is the Renault backing out a bit early. But deciding to go up the inside. A little bit of contact between the two and Liam. Holding it around the outside. Gaziag, he's quite tight to the rear of the McLaren. That's Little Bear, and he's going to have a run coming down into turn one, and it looks like he's going to get him, but we have to switch now because it's Liam on the Liam. inside of Gadwin up through turn three. Darian Alfie and Wisp having an exchange. Darian Alfie holding on to sixth position for the time being. It looks like Wisp really wants that position, and we're going to jump back on over with Little Bear. He's up the inside of Gaziag. Gaziag took that position through turn one. There's a little bit of contact. Nothing too major, though. Both getting a bit of... A shake on the exit. Uh, Bacini and Domi in a fight for the lead right now. Domi has made it ahead. Being quite quick right now. On the inside is Kai. Up through turn three. He's made the move, but he's gone a little deep. Domi not quite able to get the traction. He needs to escape that. Well, to get ahead of that Mercedes. But, of course, now Kai Bacini with the DRS. Up the inside of Kai Bacini into turn three. And he's not going to get the exit he needs. He's going to get DRS, though. He's going to get the run down into turn four. He is up the inside of the Mercedes. Kobuchini looking to hold it around the outside. He's early on the power, a bit too early. And he's almost spun it, but there's a Williams there stopping that car's rear end from going too much further around. Domino up into first place. Now. Ooh, Dirk Chocolate. A little bit deep through turn one there. Cotters with a clean entry. He has the DRS and overtake. He gets ahead of Dirk. He jumps ahead into, well, in front of that McLaren, into the braking zone. Oh, and Crumpy's had an off out of turn eight. As a result of these pit stops, and now Kai Bacini, where is he going to come out in relation to Domi? Is he going to get the undercut here? He is. Uh, or the side-by-side, -side, actually, as Domi has just come out of the pit stops, but he's on medium compound tires compared to Kai Bacini's hards. Down into turn three, and they go, and Domi up the inside. He might instantly retake back this position. He's up the inside, though, and we've seen Kai Bacini get a good exit out of here before. And now, it's Domi with DRS just breezing past, and he is in, or well, once again, in what is effectively the race lead. Yasko ahead of them, yet to pit off of those medium compound tires. Domi in lead of this race right now. It's these three drivers on the podium positions for the moment. And Kai Bacini has the Red Bull of Liam very tight to his rear. DRS enabled overtake full swing. 
And look at the speed coming out of these mediums in comparison right now. There's not a lot that Kaibachini can do at the moment. They are on two completely different strategies. Let's pull that trigger. Then, you know, he will make the move fairly easily. And it looks like now might be that time for the racing point around the outside. Absolutely blistering pace. It looks like the Red Bull's come into contact with him. Pits either. But now it's going to be Darian again. Look, it just breeze past him. Turn it to turn one. He can take his time. Yeah, that front left end plate going to be costing Gat on a good chunk of speed here. Big now coming up into turn three. Very, very, <laughs> very tight there. I was going to say Little Bear just trying to stretch out his braking to get himself alongside that car into the turn, but he's just going to hold it, come back at him down into turn four, and he is clean ahead on the inside now. Coming through turn four, very neatly done. And he's going to oh. look up Little Bear's inside into turn three, and he's going to get the move done. Another similar position as Liam Kaibachini. Cabaccini around the outside. Liam a little bit later on the brakes. Lunges ahead of the Mercedes. Holding on to second position, but it's going to be Kai now. With a move on the inside. Wheel to wheel coming through the left-hander. Kai ahead of Liam. On the hard compound tires. And it looks like the pace is starting to fall off of those mediums in comparison. And that could be bad news for Domi. Oh, and there goes Liam. A big drift coming out of that. Oh, no. And he can't quite get it turned around the same way we've seen Max Verstappen do it. What's going to happen here? He is going to come in off of these medium compound tires. Of laps. It would be a stretch if you did. Yasko just breezing by. Wisp utilizing that DRS. He's into fifth position coming through into turn three. And now we'll see if Wisp's able to do something about it. A big slip out from that car on the exit of third turn there. And of course he's got the DRS and overtake. But with that very poor exit... I don't know if it's going to be enough at the very least on this lap. Squid takes a three-second time penalty, and there is just so much action in this race. Such a difference in strategy. Behind them, who is just using them for DRS right now. And Dirk Chocolate looks like he might be yielding for before the corner to let Kai Bacini pass. Undertaker hasn't done the same, though. So he's going to give Kai Bacini DRS down this straight as well. Oh, no. And this is just helping him catch Domi even faster. Yeah, and as a result of pulling off for blue flags, they are cotters actually overtook Dirk Chocolate there into 16th position. Chocolate, meanwhile, making a move on Undertaker as we jump back to Liam. On the inside of the Renault now, coming up through turn two, now into turn three. He is ahead. Aliavci, I think, switched to the inside, but wasn't able to do much there. Crushing that gap. He's got DRS. Obviously, you're not going to get it through this. Quid. Section trying to interrupt on Crampy up the inside now into turn three. Crampy trying to fight back here. Is he going to get the switch onto the inside? Not a lot of traction coming out of his softs compared to Squid right now, but he is going to have that DRS and overtake. And now we're going to jump back. It's Liam. Ooh, Max Inkster not able to do anything against this coming through the penultimate turn between Ali Avci and Gadwin. Max Inkster now, Ali Avci has been squeezing Gadwin. It almost caused a major incident down into turn four, but this time it was okay. He left a little bit of space here, but it doesn't matter anymore. Gadwin on these softs, he's fed up, but he does not have a lot of energy deployment, and the lack of patience right now on that ERS button is costing him massively. DRS is going to give him a good run, though, coming out on the Renault. They're wheel-to-wheel -wheel here. Ali Avci just holding on for dear life with his battery. They're exactly side-by-side -side right now. A little bit of a tap there from Gadwin and the Renault, but it's going to be Gadwin through into turn three and now that he has dispatched the Renault he has another target and that is going to be the Haas of yeah, Max he's gonna Inkster. Look Max. He's going to look at Max here down into turn four too far back and his teammate Liam absolutely romping away. He's 1.6 seconds as Gadwin very sideways out of turn four. It's just all craziness for these guys in the midfield right now. Yasko ahead of Aliavci and he's going to be looking at the Red Bull as well. He was just carefully around the outside there. Gadwin having to recover a little bit a snap from that Haas Ooh, the Yasko on Gadwin the inside so well turn four. and he doesn't have the tire advantage over Yasko here so he's going to be a little bit worried seeing that Ferrari in his rear view mirror down into turns eight, uh, 9 and 10 sorry we've seen Gadwin have traction out of this last corner before 
But he's slipped. He's spun it around. He's not retired the car and he's held it. So he's not going to be in the way. But that is going to put him out of the points for sure here. Because here comes Adrian. Where's Squid actually? Squid's actually a fair bit around. But Edwin's going to have so much time lost here. Yeah, and that major front wing damage isn't going to help him either. Yasko and Max Inkster on their battle now into turn three. Yasko on the outside right now. And that's a Renault giving Max a little bit of a boost. That was Ali Avci into the rear of the Haas, and I think that might have just saved Max Ingster for the time being, but all for naught as Yasko around the outside now as we move our way down through into turn four. He is out in front of the Haas, and that's the Ferrari into sixth position. Yeah, super impressive race from Domi. These tires, he seems to have found pace where others have failed to do it. Even Kaibuccini on the harder compound tire, he's lost his pace towards the end of this race. I was thinking for sure that he would have to come in for a pit stop, but it is Domi with the win. Kaibuccini in second position. Is he going to hold it with the penalties? Darian Alfie coming through now. He was nine seconds away. He does maintain P2. Kaibuccini, Darian takes third. Wisp now rounding the final turn here. He comes uh, fourth, and Liam fifth with Yasko. Max Inkster jumps Aliachi into the last, uh, well, seventh. Compared to eighth for the Renault, Adrian holds on to ninth. Is Squid going to jump any places in the Williams? I don't think so. That gap is huge. Nope. So that's it right there. 